Hi, in this video, I will show you how we can easily populate drop downs in our systems. So, what I have done here is built a reactive web application uh, that has an entity customer, has some attributes, and has corresponding data in it. What we're going to do is build a screen, which is where we're going to have our drop down. Let this be an empty screen for customers. Uh, the title so we can find the purpose. Uh, now, in our systems, you already have a lot of these controls available here, and drop down is one of them. Now, the problem is once you have a drop down, it requires all of these properties in there. Okay, so I'll show you how easily you can build this. So, first of all, for having a drop down, I think the page needs to query data. From the server database let's use the aggregate and the aggregate will get the information from the customer table okay with this if we go back you will see already now the page has a query get customers now this is something we can bind the drop down with so let me do that again drag and drop drop down maybe five columns and under the list option here this is where we can do the binding to this query okay so how do we do that expand the list platform always is trying to help you in finding out the relevant data so the moment I do that it's already able to suggest that maybe option text is, should be this one and option value should be the ID thereafter there's also one more field for variable now this is the one that stores the selection of the user okay so in case you don't have a variable you can of course create a new local variable with which the platform creates the local variable on top now thereafter you can also display this next to the drop down so we can no, we can uh, see what the what the user has selected and that's it let's publish the application to see the outcome ready launching it it's all here so right now the first one is selected so the ID first is displayed second sixth eleventh there you go. Thanks for watching.